This is Peter with Drums West, your source for drums, heads, mallets, sticks, and much more. Hey, this is Peter with Drums West, and I am here today to show you how to use some small handheld percussion items um, in cooperation with a drum set. Um, sometimes you don't always want to use a hi-hat or a ride cymbal or something like that. So here are some um, easy um, ways to incorporate hand percussion. So we'll just start with a good old shaker. Um, it's important to note on shakers is to aim the shaker at something so we're not using a big sweeping motion, just a nice, yeah. So if I'm just doing a nice 2-4 beat, add some off beats in the hi-hat, Yeah, easy way to use a shaker, fun, aim it. Cool. All right, next one is a kashishi. This is a little basket with beads at the bottom. Pretty cool. Um, usually it has a little handle. I took the handle off because I was touring around with it and it, was just, it got crushed right away, so I just took it off. Um, so here's just like a little shuffle kind of thing. Kind of a cool way to use that. Um, yeah, that's just real quick. We'll keep moving on. Um, here is some seed shells. Very soft. So maybe I'll switch over to a brush sound or something. Or something even, you know, whatever. Yeah, nice and soft, very cool. All right, moving on to some bells. A lot harsher, those are, whoo, yeah. So um, maybe I could do, well, let's see here. Do some side stick action or, uh, let's see. Kind of uh, just coming up with like a, quote unquote Middle Eastern sounding uh, something. If I put it on the hi-hat, oh, oh, hold on, my little string, then I can use it with the foot. Pretty cool there. So yeah, just another way to use it. Cool. All right, moving on. This is a one-handed triangle uh, made by LP. So that's kind of a cool thing uh, if I use it like in a samba setting. Yeah, uh, if I use it for a rock thing. Kind of cool there, yeah. So that's the one-handed triangle. This uh, little thing is a spark shaker. It's pretty quiet, um, but you just cup it and release it. So again, a quieter sound, good for recording. Um, if I'm using, again, a softer kind of a thing. Yeah, so that's pretty cool, the spark shaker. So let's go uh, now to a tambourine. Uh, tambourine's a lot louder. Um, it's a different motion, it's bigger, so I use a different motion for it. If I'm just doing, again, a 2-4 groove.
or just a slower again. Yeah, cool. All right, so then let's see the last one here. I'm <laughs> just dropping stuff. Uh, just a single maraca. Um, these are a lot louder. They come in all different shapes and sizes. Um, this one's a plastic one. Pretty loud. Um, yeah, but... Uh, yeah, all of these motions are pretty small motions. We don't, we're not, we don't need to exaggerate and use a big motion. It's just a nice small motion, compact, relaxing the arm so we're not tense and tight and everything. That's really the key to doing this kind of stuff and just experimenting, having fun. Okay. So this is something a little bit different. This is uh, um, a, a metal tube with a hole in it. Called a Vibratone. Um, different companies make them, um, uh, different names on them. So I'm just gonna try something different. Haven't really done this before. Uh, I just grabbed a practice pad and threw it on top of the snare to muffle the snare. So now I have a deeper kind of flat dead sound. So if I'm doing, and I'll do like a, I'll try like quarter notes over here or something. Uh, with an open foot splash. <laughs> Never done that before. That was the first time. That was kind of fun. I'll have to use that in a recording. <laughs> um, yeah, so the point is, you know, just grab different things, try them out. You don't know what's going to happen until you try it out. Um, like, you know, putting the things on different drums, you could put a tambourine on your floor tom, you know, if maybe you're doing some Mardi Gras stuff. You know, there's all kinds of different products to mimic that kind of sound. You know, throwing a tambourine on a hi-hat, same kind of thing. You know, doing that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, a lot of little different items, a lot of fun ways to be creative. And yeah, just different, get away from the hi-hat and the ride cymbal stuff. So this is Peter with Drums West. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out some more, check out our other videos, contact us, say hi. Um, hope you liked it and have yourself a good day. Thank you. If you need gear or advice with anything percussion, reach out to us at drumswest.com. If you like what you hear, do me a favor and tell a friend. Follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our e-newsletter so you will never miss new content as it drops. This is Peter with Drums West, your source for drums, heads, mouths, sticks, and much, much more. Thanks for listening.